Costanza. Great. Michael, are you okay? I think so. Friends in Christ. Uh, for this, uh, everybody, tenors and basses, we're going to sing that first page. We're going to do it twice. We're, you're going to model it for the crowd, and then we're going to start it with all the tenors and basses in the room. Okay, so. And Matt might be helping play as needed, but okay. So why don't you play the first two bars for us for the intro after, okay? I'll give you. Friends in Christ rejoice, hope and healing bring. Angels all around us, peace on earth they sing. Know the sing the angels, know the need a song. For this baby small and weak is born to stand against the strong. Noel, 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 sing the news with awe. Like no God we had imagined is the baby in the straw. Together, friends in Christ rejoice, hope and healing bring. Angels all around us, peace on earth they sing. Noel, sing the angels, Noel, be a song. For this baby small and weak is born to stand against the strong. Noel, 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 sing the news with awe. Like no God we had imagined is the baby in the straw. Friends approach the Friends approach the manger, be the sight of thee. Very good. Is that fine? Very good. We might take it a hair faster, but I think this room is the best one. Uh, I think that's probably, that'll be a good reading tempo. Good. Where you go, I will go. So just a reminder, we do the refrain once. We're omitting verse one. So from ending one, Matt will go to ending two, uh, which takes us to verse two. So after we sing the first refrain, we're only doing it once. And then we'll do verse two, back to the refrain on page three of the octavo. And then we'll go to ending four. And then we'll go to verse three, and then we'll take the uh, final refrain, okay?
Michael, do we need to run the Taze or what do you want to do? Okay. So with the Taze, we have two Taze songs. Um, the first one is the Kingdom of God. So singers, it's page 56 in your book. We'll do it twice in English, twice in Spanish. It won't be intoned. The intro, the musicians play it. So total five repetitions. Um, we may do the final one a cappella, I think, is what we decided. So English twice, Spanish twice. When in doubt, sing. Okay. Okay. Have a lot of bass. Um, El Senor. Señor es quien restaura, Dios nunca te aparta, el Señor que viene a encontrarte, viene a encontrarte, el Señor es
phrase, uh, picking up to the second symptom, you can kind of kind of expand it just a little bit. Here. A little more. The uh, yep, that'll be fine. That's good, Michael. Great. Yes. How excellent is thy name? That's in our showcase books. Page 52 in the showcase books. Michael, on the mass that we just skipped, you're doing that mystery of faith. No, you'll do, I think you'll do it. Uh, I think you'll do it. Roger is going to lead this. I'll try to. <laughs> All right. So here's essentially the deal. When we get to page six, measures 23 uh, through 25 will be a, a repeat. Add an extra bar, if you would, so it becomes really a four bar phrase. So uh, we're going to just add an extra bar of that one chord. So in other words, 23. Another bar of D. So it's a four bar phrase. And uh, what I would like to do actually is have everybody sing it two times through. And then we'll do a breakdown of it where it's just sopranos, then just altos, just tenors, just basses, and then we'll put it all together in an a cappella thing. So we'll kind of vamp that about, oh, 16 times, something like that. And then I'll give the cue and we'll actually go on and finish the piece and take the coda out. So the overall form, we'll take it as written. Uh, page four, we go into the verse one, then take the repeat at the top of five, back to the beginning, uh, second time through. Page four, go to the coda for verse two, and then we will be at the bottom of page six. Everybody sing it 23 a couple of times. We'll do a breakdown, uh, uh, everybody together, and then we'll end the piece, take the final coda out. Two times with a little coda yeah. Cool. Makes awesome. sense? Yep. Uh, just to get a sense of that right now, let's everybody take a look at page six, measure 23, just so we uh, get a feeling of that. Soprano. Two, three, uh. <laughs> Again. Good. So let's just read it down all the way from the top, that form, and I think we'll be good. All right, from the top. One, two, one. <laughs>
That's the communion song. Good, 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 good. What's next now? Run, Shepherd? What? House of Prayer. Very good. Tony, come on up, brother. Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> so Tony will intone the refrain.
right, just to the desk can, page 7, Matthew, page 7, measure 47 uh, to, to 53, I think. So everybody listen. Can I just hear you ladies sing 50? What is what, E flat again? There we go. Uh, right on house. Ready on 50. One, two, ready, and. Very good. Next, we want to do to be your presence, Michael. Yeah, just get it started. Start still, 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 or just let it go? Maybe you can keep the time of her speech at about what page? Um, well, I don't know if it's the last one, the last one. Good. Okay, very nice. Hallelujah. So now we go to um, showcase page 11. Showcase. Marilyn Light accompaniment on stanza three, you know, just to, you know, just to help us a little bit. Thank you. 
were talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one is so pretty. <laughs> the heavenly music. You're good. There's the one I <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Yes. So, uh, three verses. I didn't give you the number. Scant after two and three. We're only doing three verses. So you're cool with being a felony. Okay. How are we doing this? Okay. to touch base with the Jonkus at all. Okay, we have a couple minutes. It's 12.57. And singers Okay, um, and so let's look at um, showcase, let's see, the Holy Holy. Uh, Michael, the question is, should Michael Bossert go to the cantor stand to do the through him with him and the mystery of faith? He's got a mic, he can stay in place. Okay, is that okay? Good. Very good.
lassos on a mite, just it might be a slight broadening, so just kind of look a little bit, but that's fine. Then an A right away. A mystery of faith. Stay on the swell for the exology of Michael through him.
Welcome, NPM. My name is David Anderson, and I serve as Vice President for Church Music and Senior Editor for GIA Publications. On behalf of the team at GIA, we are delighted and very grateful to be able to sing together this afternoon for this showcase. I invite your attention now to the screens for a few moments. GIA hymnals have graced the pews of Catholic parishes for over 40 years. Worship 4th Edition upholds its lineage as a classical hymnal while including contemporary, bilingual, and world music. It has created a new legacy of sung prayer for generations to come. One of my greatest joys this school year has been liturgical music. I get to go into classrooms K through 3, 8, 9 a day but going into liturgical music is always a breath of fresh air. Even in the classroom today, we were singing songs that, as we pointed out, looking at the text, have been around for hundreds of years, and there's so much power in that. There's power in tradition. I've been using the Lead Me, Guide Me hymnal now for over 30 years. No other resource has what this hymnal has for us. The tradition is in this hymnal of both our African American and our Catholic tradition is here. It is songs that touch the spirituality of the people plus their Catholic identity. And those two things are the most important things. And because it's in a hardbound edition, it's a permanent edition, it's something that the people consider, this is mine. At a time, I think, in our church where so many parishes are experiencing just a transition and how do we, how do we minister to our congregations in the 21st century, having a resource that can bring communities to worship side by side is just such, such a wonderful thing. We have primarily English-speaking and Spanish-speaking communities that need to be brought together here. I mean, what better way than to have one resource that can serve the needs of multiple communities, especially on a language basis. I chose Gather in 2011. We were in need of a new hymnal, and I chose it because it was a, it's the hymnal that gives us the most diversity. It, in my opinion, a hymnal is an absolute necessity if you're going to really, really have a music ministry that offers any, any sense of a broad base of music that you can use for all the holidays and ordinary time and throughout the, throughout the liturgical year. I got a copy and everything was there and I said, my search is over. GIA Hymnals, our legacy of sung prayer. As you saw in the video today, we're very proud of our hymnals and the legacy they continue to provide for assemblies, choirs, and ensembles. In the past three years, we've also worked very hard to provide you with a number of significant Psalter projects for the Revised Grail Psalms, notably the Lyric Psalter and Cry Out with Joy. Check your program book today for more information on those collections. Our time together this afternoon will give you just a sampling of newer music from the over 300 plus editions that we publish almost every year. Our preludes today were from Paul Tate's new piano collection, Seasons of Grace, Volume 6. You'll find a recording of all the pieces for this showcase on the inside back cover of your showcase booklet, so feel free to uh, refer to that at a later time. We are also joined today by a wonder, wonderful group of instrumentalists, singers, and composers who are here to help lead us in our music making. However, you are the choir. You are the folks that will sing all of this and bring this music to life today. Uh, we begin today by singing a piece from a new collection by Marty Haugen. A note about the numbering. Uh, the bottom number in your showcase book is the showcase book number, but then each piece is an octavo, so you'll see octavo numbers like you normally would uh, in, the, in the normal place in the octavo. 
So we're going to open up to page 12. So look at uh, for page 12 at the bottom of the page for An Open Hand, A Willing Heart. This is from Marty's new collection, Sing for Peace. The setting is a song of the spirit calling us to be the church in the world. We'll sing this setting as written. And at several times today, I'll invite you to stand if that's comfortable for you. So for this one, please stand if you're able. Friends in Christ, Rejoice is by Rory Cooney from his new collection for Advent and Christmas entitled, Like No God We Had Imagined. We have a number of three-part pieces today, and this three-part SAB setting is accessible for choirs and ensembles of all sizes. We will sing this piece as written, and in order to familiarize ourselves with the melody, I'm going to have the, the tenors and uh, basses on stage sing the first page and then all the tenors and basses in the room will sing it together. So you'll hear the first page and then we'll all start together with the tenors and basses in the room. Friends in Christ rejoice, hope and healing bring. Angels all around us, peace on earth they see. No one sing the angels, no one sing a song, for oh, this baby small and weak is born to stand against the strong. No one, no one, no one, sing the news with awe, like no God we had imagined is the baby in the straw. So again from the top, all tenors and basses. One, two. Friends in Christ rejoice, hope and healing bring. Thank you. 
very good. Our next piece you'll find in your booklet, page 32, Sean Ivory, Where You Go, I Will Go. This is from our Kelvin Christian, uh, Institute of Christian Music series, a beautiful song of trust and commitment. The setting echoes the familiar story of Ruth with verses from Psalm 5. This is another setting for three-part choir, and the assembly can easily join in the refrain. For our read-through today, we will omit verse 1, so we're only going to sing verses 2 and 3. And we'll sing the refrain just one time at the beginning. You're always going to flip back to the refrain. And then after verse 3, you'll keep on going. There's a final ending with a descant for the sopranos. So refrain together, then we'll do verse 2, refrain, verse 3, and then final, final refrain with the descant. Peace. Thank you. You did that beautifully. As you came in today, in addition to the showcase book you received, a new collection of songs in Spanish from the Teze community. Bendigo al Señor 
includes nearly 50 ref refrains in Spanish and English, as well as other languages, and is a valuable resource for Spanish-speaking communities and for communities looking for bilingual worship music for their sung prayer. The last Spanish edition from the Teze community came out in 1980, so a lot of work has gone on in the past few years with the brothers, and we also thank Father Ron Christman for all of his work uh, with a lot of these songs in uh, collaboration with the brothers of the Teze community. We're gonna sing two pieces today, if you'd open to 56, in the book, The Kingdom of God. We'll sing it twice in English and twice in Spanish, and sing in harmony right away, whatever's comfortable for you. Page 56, The Kingdom of God. The second one we sing today is on page 34, originally in Italian. We'll sing it in Spanish today. It comes from a quote by St. Ambrose of Milan, which I think is very good news for all of us, especially in our life of faith and our walk. The Lord restores you. God does not push you away. The Lord comes to meet you always. We'll hear it first sung by our cantor, and then we'll sing it four times together in Spanish.
So it takes some time to many familiar chants and a number of new chants, all in English and Spanish, and as well as the original language that they were composed in. And, uh, the No Greater Love Mass by Father Michael Jonkis was initially published in 1988. So now we go to page 44 in your showcase booklet. And we're happy to be releasing this revised mass setting. And it retains much of the original, but also includes revised material to accommodate for the mass missile text changes. The revised setting includes a new through composed Gloria music for the gospel acclamation and for the prayer of the faithful. We will be singing the Eucharistic prayer acclamations beginning with the Holy Holy. And again, that's on page 44, and we'll keep going through to the memorial acclamation and the amen. I'm sorry, 36? No, 44, okay, thank you. In your showcase booklet. Some of you may have the octavo, so that was the 36, I think. So take a look at that, and again, it through composed glory and a number of new pieces, new pieces in there. Our next piece is in your showcase book, page 52, How Excellent is Thy Name, and this piece will be led uh, for us today by Roger Holland. And many of you were with us last night for the, uh, the evening of prayer and praise, so we're glad to have Roger with us again today. So I'd like to invite you to do something that's a little different than what's actually listed in the score and uh, by way introduce you to some variations and some liberties that sometimes you can take with some of these pieces. So I'd like you to turn, David help me with the page because I took the octavo, it's uh, measure 23, page 56, thank you. So at the bottom, at measure 23, that little section that goes, Oh Lord, how excellent is thy name in all. We're going to make that a vamp. Say amen, church. Yes. 
So we're going to make that a four-bar vamp. So at the end of Earth, just add an extra bar so you can catch your breath. Uh, and let's rehearse it real quick. But the, what we're going to do with that is break it down so we'll have only the sopranos sing it, then only the altos, then only the tenors, and then only the basses, and then we'll put it together. It makes it a nice, exciting kind of buildup. But we're going to all sing it together right now. Then in the context of the piece, we'll break it down like that. So soprano, alto, tenor. Just a quick rehearsal. Oh, Lord. One, two, three, sing. Oh, Lord, One more time, oh Lord. Excellent, excellent. So when we get there, that will be familiar territory. So quick rundown on the road map. We'll sing that opening chorus. I will sing praises. That's at the very beginning. And then we go right on to verse one. And then we take the uh, repeat, go back to I will sing praises, take the uh, coda sign, second time to verse two. And we'll sing that and keep going to the vamp at the bottom of 56. And then when we come out of the vamp, I will give you the cue. We'll take the coda to the last time and end the piece. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. One, two, three, one. <laughs> Come on, come on. Roger. <laughs> we now move to something totally different, <laughs> a piece for a children's choir for Christmas, uh, and uh, totally different. Uh, so we'll just have uh, uh, sopranos and altos in the room. You're at showcase, bottom of the page, page 60, right, uh, Run, Shepherds Run. 
This is a new series of choral music for children's choirs uh, called Singing Our Faith, Music for Children. And this is, uh, we'll sing this title as written, Sopranos and Altos. Uh, the piece is also available in a three-part setting for SAB. Um, for the sake of time, we're going to just take this from the top and we'll end uh, at page 10. We'll just sing through octavo number, page 10. Okay, so. We'll let you finish that at home. So <laughs> it's a very nice piece, though, and, and very simple if you're introducing two parts to your children's groups. The next piece is A House of Prayer. It's in your showcase book, uh, page 76. We're very excited about a new collection coming uh, from Tony Alonzo, and uh, Tony is here today to sing uh, this title piece from the collection re and recording, A House of Prayer. Tony is going to intone the refrain and then we'll all repeat it, and feel free to repeat it in parts, sing harmony. We'll sing two verses, and after verse two, we're gonna take the third ending, so we're gonna to go to the final refrain, okay? So uh, refrain first, and then we'll all repeat in parts. Christ our cornerstone. 
Let this be a house of prayer for all people. Let this be a house of Love overflowing, a holy ground where all find welcome. A Thank you, Tony. Our next piece in your showcase booklet, page 84, To Be Your Presence. It's a wonderful text of mission which really aligns itself closely to our convention theme. The text is by Sister Dolores Duffner. This also is a three-part choir setting and can find many uses throughout the year as we sing the call and the joy of the gospel. Um, at this point, let's stand and sing this piece if you're comfortable standing. The Sopranos and Altos, you'll take the first verse.
See. Now we're back to Christmas. <laughs> Christmas in July. GIA Publications acquired Walton Music a little over two years ago, and we're very pleased to include a very popular setting uh, for Christmas from the Walton catalog, Still, Still, Still. And we'll sing this piece as written. Crescendo. Beautiful, thank you. <laughs> now from Christmas to Easter, we have a wonderful piece today by Nora Duncan, who's here today. So we're really happy to um, sing, Alleluia, Alleluia, let the holy anthems rise. And Nora has set the familiar Easter text to the very familiar hymn tune of Nettleton. It's a very accessible setting for SATB choir, assembly and organ with one trumpet. And we'll sing this as written. Mm -hmm. 
And again, we're on page showcase booklet, page 11. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, page 100. Again, Nora Duncan, thank you. Our next piece is in your booklet, uh, page 112, The Heavenly Music. It's by Jim and Marilyn Beery, who are both singing and in the ensemble, and Marilyn is playing organ today for us. Both Jim and Mary have numerous pieces in print, and Marilyn has a brand new collection, organ collection that just came off the press in time for NPM. The Heavenly Music is a song of praise that sings of the prayer and praise we each become through the act of singing in worship and prayer. We'll sing the piece as written, and everyone sings on the first stanza.
sopranos and altos. Thank you. Our final piece today is at page 122 in your showcase booklet. Uh, in Chicago, uh, this piece kind of shows up from time to time at funerals, and a lot of us didn't remember where did it come from. And finally, uh, one day we realized it was in the original worship hymnal in 1971. So, you know. Many Xeroxes have been floating around, <laughs> archived copies, sacred editions. So anyway, <laughs> so finally, um, and somebody said, you know it's GIA, so uh, anyway. So, um, so one of our colleagues, Kyle Cothern, who's on stage today, Kyle, uh, did a, a nice arrangement today. So this is a lovely piece that can be used uh, for uh, the Order of Christian Funerals. It might find a, a place as an optional song of farewell. If you do that, you might do three verses. Um, you can use it for All Saints and All Souls. This year, All Saints is on a Sunday, so we'll be looking for special music uh, for that day as we sing uh, throughout the month of November. So we're going to conclude today with this piece, and we're going to do three verses. And you'll see a descant, and to give us a running chance at the descant, we'll do it after verses two and three. So on behalf of GIA Publications, um, I and all of us here, all of these wonderful musicians and all of you incredible people, but we thank you for singing with us today. We thank you for the instrumentalists. We thank you for all you do to bring your churches alive in prayer and song. And we look forward to seeing you and helping you in any way we can at the GIA exhibit. So let's stand and sing How Bright is the Day.
Have a great day. David.